The top of this air traffic control tower is the best place to take in a 92,000 square foot hangar at Cape May Airport. This is a former naval base. They actually practiced dive bomb training here during World War II. And so there was a lot of activity here, believe it or not, in, in Cape May County. Uh, there was close to 17,000 takeoffs and landings in October of 1944. They were, they were prepping for war. These young pilots were getting ready to go to the Pacific Theater to fight. And at that time, our technology was not that good. So there was a lot of pilot error and the aircraft failed. So 42 men died training here. Even today, we have remnants. People go combing the beaches or back in the marshes. And they st even today, they're still finding pieces of aircraft from all the accidents that took place here when this was a training center. The Naval Air Station Wildwood Aviation Museum's mission is to honor those men, educate the public, and restore the historic all wooden truss hangar. Orthopedic Dr. Joseph Salvatore took on the project in the mid-90s. His family worked here during World War II. We found they were going to tear this building down, and uh, we asked the county if they would give it to us. They did. They sold it to us for a dollar. That, that's the good news. The bad news is it had a hole in the roof 100 by 150 feet. And bird droppings at least six inches deep in the whole hangar. An experienced preservationist, Dr. Salvatore was undeterred by the massive undertaking. Now their doors are open year round. The museum has more than 25 different aircraft in the hangar, ranging from World War I through to present day. The museum owns some and others are on loan from the military. Kids can fly many of the aircraft or slide behind the wheel of some of the vehicles. Five-year-old Layla Collins is practicing. She dreams of becoming a pilot. I really want to fly one day when I grow up. One of the museum's newest additions, this World War II era Hellcat. Huey helicopters from the Vietnam War and a Coast Guard boat and helicopter are open to visitors. Seven-year-old Alice Savard's favorite part? Getting to see what the planes look like inside. Though kids have plenty of time here to dream about soaring to new heights, the staff hopes everyone walks away with the knowledge that there are stories in each of these cockpits. And there were once Americans inside who put their lives on the line for their country. I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News. Thank you.